Let's do giraffe first. Now, as Tristan has just mentioned, hashtag Safari Live with any of your questions on Twitter, of course. And hopefully we're going to see some exciting things. And first off, my favorite thing was a very brief silhouette of a giraffe, which was quite lovely. But we have an entire tower of them moving around here. And this one that you can see very quickly is a female. And she's hungry. She is eating much breakfast this morning. This actually might be quite nice for Steph when he gets going to try and come and do a walk around here. To be surrounded by giraffe on foot is probably one of my favorite things. Now she looks like she could be carrying a calf. I just was looking as to how round she is and her stomach has dropped quite low. Can you see that? Look at that big bulge. So I reckon that there is a little calf inside there. That's quite exciting. It's nice to see that even though we're coming into winter, we're still able to see, well, we'll potentially see some more life throughout the year. So I don't know how far along she would be, but that's a big bulge. And I reckon she, whoa, hang on. We've got a running giraffe now, which is an unusual sight. You don't normally get to see that. They don't normally run for potentially for, for long distances unless they suppose they're going across the big open plains. But isn't that quite lovely? And the birds are just starting to wake up too. Should we have a little listen while we watch a giraffe disappear off into the distance? That is absolutely beautiful. Now, Sebastian, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go forward a little bit. I'll tell you why. Because there's the most interesting giraffe that her ossicones are pointing inwards. And we can get a silhouette of it. So let's, let's try to do this. Could be quite nice. I'm going to park like that. Oh, no. Her ossicones are not pointing in. Oh, no, there's one that looks a bit skew. Look at that. Now, I thought for a moment that her, uh, both Aussie cones were port pointing inwards, but that doesn't seem to be the case this morning. But they definitely are not aligned, as you can see over there. Now, Red, you're wondering how long is a giraffe's tongue? Very long. Uh, it's well over 30 centimeters. If you take your ruler and you add another sort of 10 centimeters to that, a third of your ruler, that's how long a giraffe's tongue is, which is pretty incredible they must have one of the longest tongues out there and it's it's important for browsers i think especially browsers to have long tongues because it allows them to sort of well twist their tongue around a branch and pull back and extract all the leaves that way could you have got very long tongue too you don't often get to see it but every now and then if you are lucky you'll see them pop it out of their mouths and and uh, pull off some leaves as well but i think giraffe in terms of removing leaves from a tree they're probably the best demonstrators at that but today, this giraffe is actually not utilizing its tongue at all. And none of them were. They were sort of just picking very gently at the leaves that they wanted. And they will do that, especially when we have had a lot of rain. There will be a lot of growth on the plants, not just through, uh, that we're seeing coming through with the grass. But there will be a lot of new sweet leaves and just popping up. And, and that's what they want to go for. Ideally, the animals want to eat the best food that they can. And so they can be quite picky about it. But of course, Tristan is sitting with a beautiful spotted creature, not a leopard, perhaps we'll have one later, but let's go back to him and those adorable cubs. <laughs> 